Okay, so we're in. Uh, I honestly can't really call what the lanes are gonna be though for We Make You Fizz. We'll see. Uh, okay, so it looks like the lanes are gonna be... Actually, yeah, we'll just wait until the laning phase starts before I move these around. <coughs> I see that Nunu, the Great One, has gone for an early ward. He's kind of gotten caught out, though. Does Morgana have a... Morgana didn't take... Well, obviously, I guess not, because she's jungling. Kind of unfortunate that she autopilot locked the skill, because then she caught up... Potentially could have took Dark Binding and picked up a free first blood right there. But I'm assuming that she already took a point into her pool. So, Nunu's flash down. And, uh, yep, the deep ward's coming out for ER. <clears throat> and there's already a ward placed uh, near the dragon area, as well as Mickey Fizz putting one near top already. So yeah, it essentially looks like it's going to be some sort of convoluted double jungle. Um, <clears throat> both sides of the jungle for We Make You Fizz will be done at the same time, because they have double smite. And we'll see who the buff goes to, most likely to Zyra, I would imagine. We'll see who gets the level up. <clears throat> yeah, it is Zyra that gets the blue. And the red getting passed off to uh, VO16. So they will be dual laning. It looks like. Okay, so the top lane is like this. And the bottom lane is like that. So, so yeah, we got double dual lane with Smite for whatever reason. Why, thank you. And we'll see how this plays out. This basically gives Nunu free reign to walk around the jungle and take whatever the hell he wants because he can see all five members of We Make You Fizz. And with a 2v1 in the bottom, I imagine they're going to attempt to uh, zone out ER's Shen. Nunu showing, him showing himself in mid doesn't really matter. He's just doing his own jungle at this point. And there are no wards yet in bottom for the purple team, so... They are still completely blind despite being pushed up so far. <laughs> VO16 doing like a, a zero distance jump right there. Tristana's jump is not available, but he does have the red buff ticking. Janna's probably gonna have to... F yeah, she's gonna have to get out. I thought she was gonna flash for a second, but then, yeah, I remembered. The jump was wasted, so nothing will come from that. Nunu's showing himself mid. <coughs> throws a snowball onto Zyra. Walks out. As, whew, a lot of damage going down onto Shen right there. That heal debuff. And Nunu still hasn't paid a visit to bottom yet. Uh, finally, the Tribush does get warded out. Ignite does get blown. Janna's probably gonna die. One more auto. Yep. First blood. So, first blood goes to Tristana. <coughs> Nunu going up to cover that as Draven does need to leave. But I don't know how much he's gonna be able to prevent that tower from getting hit. We'll see. And the bottom lane still pushing up. Uh, they know where Nunu is now, so there's no fear. And Nunu does not have any real way to clear the creeps quickly, so... That's gonna keep him there for quite a bit. So we see uh, Nami taking the opportunity to get a, a ward at Dragon. <coughs> Zyra doing the raids and Ari doing a good job of communicating with the team. Indicating that uh, her, her lane opponent is missing. Image is running out of mana pretty soon, but they've honestly pushed up quite far, taken a lot of CS already, and Shen has been held at 13. So, 
more free damage. Shen not choosing to taunt yet. Doesn't really want to bother trying to fight them. Just trying to get the CS. Nunu again harassing Blue Gina in the mid. He is low on mana, so he will back out. And Nunu will go back to take more jungle. Looking at the buffs, the red buff has timed out for Tristy. So there'll be no more of that cheap harass. Dark Binding, no good. Creep blocks OP. But Tristana not caring, jumps onto Draven anyway. Black Shield goes under, but there's no knockups to speak of, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they can catch that. The Flash... Well, yeah, the Flashes were both down, so... That was as far as they were gonna get. The Black, the black Shield probably there to anticipate the Tornado, but the Tornado didn't really come, so... Nunu still hanging around the mid, has not really paid much attention to bottom. Uh, that bottom lane's probably gonna go down pretty soon. And, uh, Images actually has it backed yet. Ooh, Dark Binding barely misses. Fierce is up there to potentially get a, uh, counter gank off. And, uh, he is level 6, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah, there's a 4-man up there. They have no flashes. One of them's at least gonna go down. The Black Shield goes down onto Tristy, so Morgana's gone. No way she's getting out of that. And instead of just pushing mid, Blue Gina decides to run up, run in circles. I don't really know what he wants to do. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get much. Whoa. VO16 going very aggressive right there. Nice max range route. Wow. Okay, so Blue Gina making a liar out of me. He actually picks up a very nice double kill. Did not expect that to uh, to happen right there. Okay, so we have a pause coming out. <clears throat> so, so far, the double dual lane hasn't really hurt We Make You Fizz. In fact, they seem to be doing fine. But yeah, we'll see what happens. And uh, I'm going to take a small break during the pause, so we'll get back to it as soon as uh, they restart. Alright, and we're back. So after picking up that double kill, looks like they're handing off the blue buff to Zyra again. <laughs> Nami smiting it to give her a little help. Uh, mid tower does take a little bit of damage right there, but no problem. Oh! Bad path to walk uh, by Zyra. It's a circulation of Ari's skills. Yeah, and bottom tower is very close to going down, as I thought. And Images is back to lane with a BF sword. And it looks like the dual top is back now. And Janna getting caught out. It's not good. Ignite's ticking. Flash. Auto. 
Easy kill. So another kill going to VO16. He is now 2 0 and 2. And with that Bilgewater Cutlass, most likely we'll be working towards that Blade of the Ruined King. Oh, it's the, it's the cleanse, but not gonna happen. And Vio's probably gonna die because he did an insta back in that bush. Yeah, he's dead. He probably should have just tried to back into the bush if he didn't have the mana to jump because, yeah, there was no way that ER was just gonna let him walk around that way. <clears throat> but overall, the trade was worth it. VO16 did get shut down, though. So a lot of gold went to Ari right there. Now 2-0-0. That's about one of the only things in e for ER that's going right in this game. Uh, so far. Okay, so bottom tower is gone now for ER. We'll see whether they choose to move Nami up to the top or to the mid to help out. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Draven continuing to get uh, binded. Almost takes another one right there. His cleanse is now down, so that's dangerous. Ari getting pinged out and the back pings are coming out very strong saying get out of there. Ari coming up from behind, I don't really know what they could do with this. Stan United is down uh, in that attempt to save Draven from the last dive. <clears throat> Nunu's also there, so we're looking at a potential four-man. That is uh, warded, though. So Fierce will eat a buster shot for his troubles. And the absolute zero hits nothing. They walk out just in time. As uh, Nyx goes down, not sure if they want to keep fighting this. A lot of damage from Draven coming out, but that red buff, plus the, the shredding from the pool. Prunes Please is going to die. And uh, yeah, Janna's probably going to die too, if he can get his jump, get mana for his jump. Doesn't look like he has it though. So, what was supposed to be a dive... Turned into a two, no, three for zero overall because Ari already respawned. Man, that went all kinds of wrong for ER right there. Not much to say about that. Okay, so with all those people dead, leaves the tower wide open, and they will take it. ER trying to four-man them again, but Ari's not going to get there nearly fast enough. And yeah, it looks like Zyra back, left the mid by herself, and that's pushing a little bit. Fierce probably should have tried to just keep pushing mid. So about a 5k gold lead for we make you fizz. And I have confirmation in the chat that this is something that they have been practicing. So unorthodox or not, they are definitely trying to win this. Which is good to know. To be fair though, if you take a look at this comp, this is not a comp that you would imagine that people would practice. Okay, so with all those kills and all that gold onto the right characters, Tristana being 6-1-2, and, and Zyra of course being 2-0-0, oh oh, this dragon should be theirs quite easily. Nunu getting uh, poked out right there. And with double smite, objective control is going to be very good for them. Nunu tries to get off a, a cheese empire right there. But... Uh, the Nami wave takes care of that, no problem. Ooh, the Ignite's ticking. That might kill him. Yeah, that kills him. 
Oh, swing and a miss on the binding. Not good, not good. So, we make you fizz, has to back out now. A little overzealous. Okay, so the chat has informed me that this is specifically designed to counter Jungle Nunu. And, uh, yeah, so far it seems to be working effectively. It seems to be more effectively working against the, uh, <laughs> the team in general, more so than the Jungle Nunu. The lanes have really been what's been dominating. Those, uh, double dual lanes. Ooh, Draven getting caught again, but this time... No AD carry to harass him, so he should be fine. As ER Fierce gets completely chunked down. And a free double buff for Zyra. And Shen, you better be careful. Oh, actually, he flashes onto him. Nice flash over the wall by Blue Gina. And VO16 is there saying, I got your back. I was actually afraid that Shen might die if... Uh, as Hyra lands all her skills on him. But Nunu was there for backup. So they trade a flash for a flash. Ooh! And Janna's... Goodbye! Sacrifices herself for Draven. But... More gold going to uh, Tristana. He's working on that Phantom Dancer now. And it looks like we do have uh, basically a double support-ish kind of build. Uh, Morgana and Nami uh, going for the gold purrs. Uh, Morgana rushing the, the Zonias. No sight stones for either of the quote-unquote supports though. So the lead is now about 18.5 to 25.5. About 16 minutes into the game, Elite Redemption has their backs against the wall against this unorthodox comp, which was specifically uh, put together to stop the, the new jungle Nunu. <coughs> but again, so far it seems to be serving uh, the team better as a whole just through the laning phase. Nunu didn't really get to counter jungle anything as probably was the intention but having the dual lane just made it so much easier for them to get bottom for free and top was already winning to begin with and it looks like Mickey Fizz wants to keep going hard Shen forced to use his taunt to get out uh, they're sending a couple people bottom but there are four members of we make you fizz there and Zyra getting chunked down, she will die. Shen ulting on top. Nobody biting onto the absolute zero though. So Shen is dead. Ari also goes down as well as Nunu. And ER does get the top tower, which is nice. But the bottom inhibitor turret is wide open for We Make You Fizz. And with 280 carries there, uh, that is a definite inhibitor. So definitely worth it overall. Janna coming back to try to uh, defend this, but she's not going to be able to. And I think I hear her spamming her laugh emote, which means that she's pretty much conceded the, the inhibitor. So just like that, we make you fizz up by about 9k gold. And <laughs> they certainly have a lot of options now. They could potentially try to keep pushing the other lanes. They could make a play for Baron. Dragon should be up uh, pretty soon. <clears throat> They'll probably want to pick that up. But yeah, so far this comp seems to be working very well. ER seems to be caught off guard a little bit. They, they're not, they weren't really sure how to, how to deal with it. They just let Tristana snowball out of control and this is the result. Blue Gino also doing very well for himself. 3-1-3. Three, and three. And actually, Images has been kind of quiet this game. He just kind of did his job, took the bottom, kept it pushed up. And he's just doing his part in the team fights. But he is also very, very big. Uh, he has the most CS right now. And he's looking to be finishing that last Whisper. Uh, a lot of AD carries now have been sitting on the Zeal. 
I'm just opting for the Last Whisper for uh, more damage. And that should be a pink ward on Baron right now, so... <clears throat> they should know that it's relatively clear. Uh, don't know if that's what they're going to go for, though. We'll see. As uh, Zyra does get caught out. She does get a nice strangle thorns off, though, and they're caught in that choke point. That is definitely not no bueno for Elite Redemption. <clears throat> Draven's not even there. And uh, right now his damage output just not up to par with the 80 carries on We Make You Fizz. So this is going to be another free push. And while they're trying to defend this, they need to keep in mind that their base is pushing uh, because of the super creeps. And ooh, the chunks of life. GG, man. That's all I can say. GG. Coming up on the 20 minute mark. We'll see. Oh, uh, what? We'll see if ER wants to keep playing this out because right now it is not looking good. Oh, goodbye, Fierce. What are you doing? Home guarding right into death right there. <clears throat> so, yeah. We make you fizz, making me eat my words. I called them out saying that they were trolling with this comp, but. They have basically rolled ER in this first game. Very convincing. And with the double inhibitor down, Baron is definitely on the table. And that should be quite uncontested at this point. Yeah, right now. Yeah, and there's the Surrender Bolt. Ari just blowing her ultimate just because. Yeah, the GG's coming out. And We Make You Fizz goes up 1-0 in almost, almost less than 20 minutes. Very, very close to that.